some things you never forget. Let's do the Alpine polka. For Ruth Marty, it's the first time she picked up her dad's accordion as a little girl. He was the one that had a little Schweitzer orgelie, which is a little button accordion, and he wanted me to play that. He had one and I played my first song I ever learned on that. The song was so simple, it didn't even have a name. But Ruth remembers the melody. Actually, my very first song. <laughs> Soon, young Ruth caught the squeeze box bug. At the time, her family lived in Barron County. Her dad bought her a more advanced instrument and scheduled lessons with a woman named Iva Ringlisbacher. He started giving me lessons in Rice Lake. That was about 22 miles from our house. My mother didn't drive, so I got a lesson maybe once a month. When her family moved to southern Wisconsin, she sought lessons from legendary accordion teacher Rudy Burkhalter. I really felt I had some more things I should learn. And Rudy had me play, and then he said, well, he said, I think you don't need any more lessons. You can be a teacher for me. Soon, Ruth fell in love, married, and had children. Although she still gave lessons to her children and later grandchildren, she didn't play as much. That changed on a trip to Switzerland in the early 70s. when she met a group of musicians from the Swiss enclave of Highland, Illinois. And they had been coming up to Bimple's Tavern in New Glarus and playing, every, always over Labor Day. The one lady played the stomp fiddle and her husband said, we need an accordion player. Ruth's been playing with the group ever since. While other members have passed on or called it quits, Ruth continues. Okay, whenever you're ready. Oh, we're ready? Okay. Yep. In recent years, she's found another bandmate, someone with whom she shares more than a love of accordion, her granddaughter, Sarah Marty. I think I was probably five or six years old. It was the first instrument started to take lessons with with grandma. So as a little kid I think I was attracted to the fact that there were buttons on this side and keys over here and you had to move things back and forth just to get it to do anything at all. As she grew up, Sarah played with Ruth on special occasions. In the past two years they've played together even more, often playing songs Ruth knows by heart. As they played, Sarah got an idea. So the, the thought was, would there be a way that we could work with a professional recording artist and capture both some of our favorite songs and also some of her favorite songs? So Ruth and Sarah hit the recording studio. But rather than produce a simple recording, Sarah spent months turning those songs into a produced album, complete with cover art and a launch party. I put together a Facebook event and put a call out by email for the Swiss Wisconsin CD release party, which happened to be our normal Labor Day gig at Bimples in New Glarus. Didn't let her know. And providing the music, Ruth and Sarah on accordion. The event was a hit, with a packed house and plenty of dancing. That's when it's the most fun, because uh, you like to see people enjoy themselves. And especially if you play a song that they maybe can sing. And we like to see them get out and dance. The party may be over and the CDs may be sold, but Ruth and Sarah say they now have a fresh set of memories. Some things you never forget. <laughs> 